Remember when we did that walk from yeah. the other end? Yeah. Remember how thick it was? Have a, have a look at the track. Yeah. That's just because there's so many wild deers and goats and things in there now. Right, we're pretty well in game one country now. Right, from, from here on up I found really good fish. Now, you, you want to follow me or you want to work your way up or? Good idea, and then if we draw a good school up, we'll both hit them. There's this movement there. Come around here, Josh. Two? Three? They're just the does. We're walking the white deer tracks. See that hole in the tree? Let's get back towards this water. Now this way. There's no rules with deer tracks. I seem to have little dead ends. This way. Back around this way. You know one of those uh, mazes? That's what we're in. Let's make this our end line here. See, dead end. Voila. This is exactly where we are. How's that? The maze took us here. There you go, catch your bass. I'll go up here and work my way back, okay? Good luck. Shags here. Oh, straight, oh, I just hit the hard bank with a tadpole, Josh. First car straight on. Oh, dropped him. Bad fishing. Blew my first fish of the season. First fish and then the nerves come down. Oh, pop one already, Josh. Mm, any more. Hard bank. That's where they are. I don't know where they are. I can just work my way back out. I said they're on the hard bank, but I don't know what that was just then. Oh, bright yellow. Shaking. Just looks so like calm and relaxed. There's the old man shaking. True to form, six inches a litre, didn't change. Oh, it's, it's moving everywhere around here. Switches to see. Get him to draw second and then move. That looks good. Oh, yeah, straight away, just flash. All right. Just tape himself up. So it's the second one I've drawn since I've been here. He's up in the feet, so I'm going to keep working the area. Did look good, looks good, is good.
Is that you, Josh? They're not real big fish, but last time I said that, monster can't mix car so. The wheel spin, I can get them with this, but oh, I don't want it. No. Yeah. Bringing it through and dropping it through the snags when I brought it back to my feet, dropped it down the snag and I then he must have just mouthed it and then I saw my lure side swimming forward so I just popped him. Unreal man, I'm proud of you, you got your first one. Yep. Which is not bad. It's my new Berkeley Gotham Shad, four inches. Just got that rigged on a little swim bait hook. But uh, yeah, that's perfect. Good signs. First of September. I can't control my nerves, that's what, that's what I love about bass. I, I should have had my first one, but I just, it was like I got the grab and I just didn't set the hook. I'm gonna have, I'll have a froggy, you know, I'll hit it or we just keep working our way back. I'll see if I can pick him off. There's a lot of fish in here, they're just, there's the water so clear and cold. You know, I'll get one more cast and then go look for some fresh ones, I think like a fresh patch. When you drop it, it dies forward, forward. to the side underneath the, yep. the lay down you're, you're working. Yeah, so you sort of rip them across, roll over structure, rip across. Yeah. And the other thing too, when I first started, all the, I noticed all the hooks were fine and they were straightening out. Yeah. These things are strong as. I'm gonna bust through this one. Aren't they really? Get extras. Maybe we will, I think. I'm gonna get my first fish on the board so I can start using this, some crazy lures. So I wish I had another colour tadpole right now. I'm just gonna go on this side of So you can see it in the water, you want something that really sticks out a bit. I wanna leave this tadpole on so I might. Move up a bit where there's a lot more. Oh, oh and there's one. Dropped him. Ah. What I might do, if I don't get him this time, I'll get you to come over here and we'll go tandem over this log with him. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, come over here, Josh. You stand where I am. Right, see that where the stick's coming out of the water? Yeah, now I'm going to cast in. I want you to do is cast behind me and chase my lure. Yeah. Okay? So I'm in there. Oops, there. Right, you. That's it. Now I'm going to come around in and just rip him across. In there. There, there, drop down. Go again. I'll get, I'll get right up the back here. Okay, that's it. Now stop, don't go in front of my little. So if I move up, you move up. And go over this log. That's where it was. <sighs> Dang. I don't know whether to keep working on it or keep moving. Just 
he grabbed it and dragged it down and I popped it. We've got barely any time, so I'm gonna call that another missed fish and move on, I think. Otherwise, I'd love to do a few switches. Yeah. Now you'd see me, don't you? I'm gonna move on, but that's... No, yeah, it's, it's a little escape from reality. But that fish, uh, it's another drop. I've got to get my first fish of the season, man. Yeah, often I move that quick that I'll draw a fish and just leave it. It's, it's really good when you fish with another bloke and you mark these spots. So you give it like a little time span yeah. and you come along and hit it again. I'll leave that gap for you, Josh. To the left of me on the other side, that's where I drew those big fish the other day. The monster bass. <laughs> where are you? Where are you? Oh. I just had another little one come out here, Josh, but he didn't want it. He just flashed up, looked at it. Uh-oh. Ah, lost my lure. Had a good run. So we use the Shimano one. What the? <laughs> what do you? Awesome. Maybe it's got me to keep dropping all my bass, but I got myself a deer. Definitely grabbed it. It's the second carp that's grabbed a big plastic box. Oh, that, that's a bass. Oh, oh he's a whopper. Oh, oh no, that's a bass. Oh, it wasn't a carp at all. It was a big, 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 big bass, and that's why he grabbed the lure. Oh, and he just cruised straight past me. He's gone back into the hole, so he's sort of. Spook, but nonchalant about it. Oh, we ran out of time. Gotta go. Gotta go and open the shops. So. Unfortunately. Right in that clear water, in about a foot of water. I seen this carp like that, rolled yep. over the uh, squidgy rubber, yep. rolled it over the log, he grabbed it, popped in, and then when he cruised past me, 
It was a bloody bass. What's that? Massive. Ah, oh, and you know what? Two clean kills, man. You'd say from, see that tree there? Yeah. From here, with a gun, bang, bang, two stags. Yeah. Two white stags, shot them. Unreal. We got one hole to hit and then we gotta get out of here. Yeah, back to the bottom of it. Oh! I threw it out there and I could see, I was just working on the Yeah. And I saw this bass start, I would've been close to 400. Just look at, look at it. And then, um, I lost sight of him then. Um, Mate, have you noticed that it's a, it's a hang time thing? They're yeah. cruising, they're not slamming, they're just yeah. cruising up. Yeah, even with a big, um, big swim bait I was using, I, I, I was just mouthing it. I was just yeah. cruising up them and just mouthing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's why I haven't set the hooks on any today. And uh, and I'm not so nervy that it's so it takes a lot of skill to catch those buggers. Yeah, it's hang time, man. It really is. It seems like they just want to... They want to take like 30, 40 seconds to cruise over and have a look at it, have a little nip. I wanted to keep fishing, but it's time out. It's just, this is just the, it's the beginning of the start of the season. And you know what? I found a dam I didn't know. Hey, look, like that. I found a dam I didn't know existed. That's a, that's a tail creek. So when it floods, right, see that there? When this all lifts up and this connects, bass will be chomping their head off in here. Frogs. You know how hard it is to get close enough to get an actual picture of a, a deer? I think I figured that to me. It's like if you can get that close, you, that's a clean hunt. What's the round spot on the tree for? See that? Yeah. Wow. See all that sort of swamp there? So yeah, when this creek's right up, that's a, that's a bass hole there. I hope that landfill all that. It's a perfect bass hole because it's got blackberries all around it. Because it's like the hole from hell. We used to get sheets of tin in the old days and throw it over the top of the blackberries to get over them. See how we're walking through now? We're walking through wetland. Yeah. See? Well, this is it's a frog country, and when we flood, the two connect, and that's where the bass get up. That there is actually a creek. Oh. Rip, rip, wood chip, turn into paper. I just wanted to film this. See, see that? See how it's sticking to me? Yeah. Well, back in the, when we first started fishing and electric motors come out, I went everywhere, right? I didn't realise like a piece of weed in the electric I'd go to a clean hole, yeah. I was spreading the weed. Yeah, it's worth getting out of bed for the days like this, isn't it? Well, congratulations. You got uh, your first bass for the season. I've been trying for so many years to get that close to those deers. Yeah. And I had them, they stopped, they they were spooked, they didn't know what to do because their boundaries are encroached. So they, they, they knew if they go back that way, they're coming into all this. Yeah. So I had them spooked and that was just worth it. So what lure are you using? Like, uh, what, which one was it that caught them? The, the Godum shaft, you know, the, the holographic ones. The, the big one though. Which brand? Oh yeah, with the yeah, Berkeley? Man. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, I found that the ripple shots were outstanding on the bass, and yeah. they were the next thing on my line, so you've sort of already done that now for us. Um, I don't know, look, they look too big, but to me they're not. They're, yeah. they're giving you more accuracy on the cast, they're giving you more power on the retrieve. You can really see them move and glide through the water over the stumps. They might sell in the shop because people don't understand the concept, but I, I think that in the future they're going to be like a mainstream way to catch bass, this style. Awesome, 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 awesome. We're from EPA, we've come for our backhanders. Nice. Where's our money? There's a lure I was using. New from Berkeley. <laughs> 